hello guys so today we are going to install cloud era in our docker system i have started sharing the screen you can see the docker which is already installed on the mac and there is only one image which is present in a docker getting started okay and there is no containers uh, running now so we have one uh, website right from the docker hub where uh, you know we have all the detailed instructions present okay so this hub.docker.com so we'll you know, use this to pull our image from the docker So we'll add the tag here, the latest, so that it will pull the latest image. So while this software is getting downloaded, uh, we can go and check the setup in the Docker. To run this Cloudera image, we need minimum 4 to 8 GB RAM so that it will run in the smoothly. So in settings, we can uh, go to the resources. Here you can see the memory is already 4 GB on my setup. Uh, if in your system, right, it is not 4 GB, then uh, you can uh, slide and increase to 4 GB the minimum requirement is actually 8 GB but uh, my Mac has only max of 8 GB so I'm just uh, giving the limit of 4 GB and CPU of 2 GB 2 is uh, fine so here you can see a couple of you know, other setups but we are not going to change anything Here you can see the new image is already downloaded. So now we can start this image. We can check this in the command line also. So Docker images that will give the list of uh, images present. So here we can see there are two images getting started and then quick start uh, cloud era. So let's now run this image. So for that, we have to write the command docker run hostname equal to quick start dot cloud era. Then we have to give all the parameters privileged equal to true. Uh, hyphen t hyphen i then hyphen v and then this is the path uh, your local system folder which will map to your uh, docker's uh, source folder so you can change your path to your local path here i am giving you know, my document 
uh, one folder which I created. Then you have to add this uh, parameter publish all equal to true. And then we'll open the port uh, 888. Okay, then we'll give the image name. So in, the, in our case, it is cloudera slash quick start. Okay, then we'll put the path user bin docker quick start. Okay, so now it will take some time to start. So it has started. It is saying Hadoop data node start. Okay, journal load. So here it is saying who failed, but it actually started. Okay, here it is saying that error message. We can ignore that error message. Okay, so our uh, Docker has started now. So we are in that uh, in a Docker image. You can see that uh, prompt root at quick start. So we can you know give some command just to verify that it's all working fine. So we can give uh, Hadoop FS ls command just to see right if there is any SDFS is present. And then you can issue one right make directory command just to see whether it's all working fine or not. So now we'll try to access the who from our uh, browser, okay, to know that uh, what is the port that we need to, we can access uh, who, then we'll open another terminal. Here we'll try to see that uh, our container uh, ID. So by giving the command, you know, docker ps, docker ps. Uh, so here you can see this, you know, container ID it starts with, uh, bf7 so then we'll give that command docker inspect uh, container id bf7 so only the three character will be enough okay so this is the one right here uh, we'll see that network setting okay here you can see the network setting where the host port is 55000 so this is running the local host then you know we can uh, go to our browser and uh, we can you know access uh, by using this port so these are all you know, other setups uh, which you know we it opened up now let's go to the browser so here we'll give 127.0.1 and the port 55000 so it should you know open our open the who interface okay so here you can see this is what opened the right the who interface and here we'll give that user id as cloudera and the password is also cloudera
okay so this is the basic interface you can see here we can access uh, the different query editors data browsers and we have the file browser job browser uh, right on the top we can see we'll go right all this uh, in another video so this is how right the basic thing how we can you know install uh, the cloud on a docker and we can you know, start uh, and you know we can play around with this one we'll see the next the next video now how to run the hive and other stuffs bye bye